Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's video I'm actually pretty excited because I picked up some new Essence makeup and I'm going to be trying it out today. I don't have like a full face of makeup to try out today, but I did pick up their new palette, which is called Witch Side, which is pretty cool. And then I did also pick up a couple of lip products to try out that state that they're new. So before we get started, please be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to be notified of all my future videos. Let's go ahead and get started. So your girl's still here in quarantine. Your girl's still spending money you know um because you know what else can i do here um and i was shopping on ulta or window shopping on ulta like i always seem to do every day and i came across i always go to the new arrivals because i like to see the new makeup that comes out and essence is a brand that super affordable it's always in other beauty influencers videos very very affordable makeup honestly as the same realm as ColourPop. Uh, even a little cheaper but the quality of their makeup is pretty good i've tried essence in the past i've tried a couple of their brow products i'm actually using the gel mascara in my brows today um, and i really really like their brow products i've tried a couple of their lip products i was satisfied with their lip products as well i've actually never tested out an eyeshadow palette from essence so i'm really excited this packaging is like the coolest thing it has it's that kind of sorry if that hurts your teeth this takes me back to being a kid like always getting like those agendas from school that's what it reminds me of going to like middle school and you get those agendas for the year when you're first starting the year and the for the notebook has this oh my god i used to love that this is really cool up and down she blinks she doesn't blink so that's really cool and then the colors is what got me look at how pretty these i mean they are cool toned colors but it's so i've never tried eyeshadows that look like this so i'm curious to see like what that actually like what color that turns out to be and it has a nice full size mirror this is 14.99 which obviously is not very much at all um and it does have 12 matte, highly pigmented mattes and Curly shades and four sprinkled nuances with extra shiny metallic finish. Whoa. So I'm guessing it's talking about these four. Um, I don't even freaking know what that is. I don't know what nuances are um, when it comes to makeup. So that's great. So we're going to find out today what that looks like. Um, yeah, I mean, it's pretty cool. You say which like it's a bad thing. Well, it's up to you to choose the good or the bad side. So this is very cool it reminds me of like sabrina the teenage witch vibes i know that there is i'm not sure if it's at ulta but i have seen makeup that's like sabrina the teenage witch um but it's very cool and the packaging is really really awesome i mean this is a pretty big palette for 15 bucks so i'm just saying they also had some new lip stuff so they have the this is nude now for some reason my packaging came like i don't know if you can see that it's like looks dirty this is literally how it came from Ulta. So um, they have new, this is nude lipsticks. And it's a rich formula, they say, with high payoff and a semi-matte finish. So this is only $3.99, which if this is a really good lipstick, it's super, super affordable. So I'm excited about that. They also have new lip glosses it's called shine 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 lip gloss <laughs> um it says on here the wet look it says it gives your lips an incredible shine leaving them an amazing light reflecting wet look finish and we all know i am the expert of lip glosses and the shine so we will test this out and see if it actually is that and this was three dollars and 29 cents so let's go ahead and dive right into this palette because i'm very very curious to see what in the world this i've never tried essence makeup um eyeshadow palettes 
So I am excited. So let me go ahead and bring you guys a little closer so we can go ahead and get started. So lids are primed and I haven't even taken out this little plastic that's on here. So let's do that. These shades look so pretty. So I think I already kind of know what eyeshadow look I'm going for. But I do want to swatch the ones that I know I'm not going to use. So I'm going to do, or just show you on my finger. So there's this one, Talisman. That's a matte. It looks like a shimmer shade though. But that looks really pretty. I'm going to try this one. Feels powdery. That's pretty. Amulet. Hmm. It's not really showing up on my finger. It feels powdery. Which is interesting. And then Wicked. Hmm. It feels, it's kind of taking me back to that Natasha Denona dupe palette I used in my last video from C Color Cosmetics. There was one shade that looked like a shimmer shade and was coming off very powdery. It really does feel similar to those nuance shades. Um, but yeah, I'm going to, I already kind of, when I saw the colors in this palette, kind of already picked the colors I'm going to use for my eyeshadow look. So I'm going to start with this shade right here, Supernatural, and I'm going to use that in my crease. It's like weird, it has like a reddish undertone to it when it looks very, very tan in the pan. That's interesting. Next shade I'm going to go into a little closer down to the crease is this shade here, which is called, that's pretty cool. They have some to the sides and everything, like the names of them. So I'm gonna go in right here with this one, which is called Potion. I'm going to actually focus this on the outer V here. Yeah, it blended really nicely. And then for the lid, I'm going to use this nuanced shade here called Shadowy. And we're going to see how that performs with my finger. pretty I was really kind of questioning it there because it's a little powdery so I didn't know shimmer wise how it was going to come out on the eye but that looks really nice I honestly feel like this kind of formula <clears throat> makes my eyelids look dry because it's powdery so it looks kind of chunky and when it blends on the eye, it kind of looks like crinkled like tissue paper. So, I mean, although I like the shine from close up, I'm like, oh my God, did I age like 25, 60 years? Um, let me not say 25 because I'll only be like 55. But did I age like, well, I guess when you're 50, no, my dad's eyelids are pretty nice looking. So I guess like, did I age like 60 years? Let me do the lower lash line first. So for that, let me see. I'm gonna go in with the Supernatural because it does come off a little darker than what's in the pan. I've been really loving doing this and I'm such a copier, but with makeup, duh, you're gonna like follow trends and stuff. I'm going to be doing a white gel eyeliner in my waterline. This is from Maybelline Tattoo Studio. Okay, I don't know why I just did that first when I have to do mascara. <sighs> All right, so I finished the other eye off camera. I did the same thing to the waterline. So I was gonna do eyeliner, but I really have been liking just doing the waterline look with my makeup and then just doing mascara so for mascara i'm going to use the same mascara that i've been using which is the lily lashes triple x mascara this is my favorite mascara right now
All right, so mascara is done. So let's jump into the inner corner and brow bone. So like I said, I'm going to dive into that amulet shade here. Hopefully that is bright enough to give us what we are looking for. Yeah, that's bright. Yeah, see, it's like so powdery. It's like flaking off everywhere. Yeah, I probably wouldn't use this shade um, going forward as an inner corner shade because it seems like it needs to be one that's like used to spread all the way out. Oh man, this eyeshadow look is probably one of my favorites. Okay, so palette we are done with. I absolutely love this palette. Um, I didn't really talk about Fallout in the Pan. There is Fallout in the Pan, but $15. I mean, I got a lot of payoff with the color, and it looks really, really pretty. So this is definitely worth it, um, and I love the theme of it. Who doesn't like witchcraft and all that good stuff? Especially if you're a Harry Potter fan like myself. <laughs> it's not Harry Potter fan, Harry Potter themed, but I mean, it's cute. All right, so for lipstick. All right, so the shade that I got is Loyal. So let's open this up. The product came very dirty. Like when I opened it, I almost thought it was used, but it was sealed, which is good. Okay, oh, what happened here? Do you see that tear there? It does have their signature E embossed in there. Um, yeah, that's weird on the side, but it doesn't look used. All right, let's try this out. Oh, this is brighter than it looked. It is very creamy. I like that. It is lighter than it was pictured online or even in this. Well, I guess it does match. It's just a little pinkier than I thought. It's like a pink nude. It's pretty good for four bucks. Very, very creamy. This I'm more excited about than the lipstick. All right, so I have the shade Let It Go. Here's their applicator. It's like triangle shaped. All right, let's put her on top and see what she looks like. doing something weird here. I only put one layer and it's doing that. I hate when it does that. I mean the lipstick formula is pretty thick so this may not be something that can be topped on top of a lipstick that's so creamy. So let me actually, so we're just going to use this Jeffree Star um, Bloor lipstick in the shade Christmas Cookie, and I'm just gonna see if it's topped on top of a matte, what happens. Alright, it dried down, so let's put the topper on the lip gloss and see. Oh, this formula is thick. I don't like how thick the formula is, though. Like, what? I don't like that. Okay. So, meh. It seems difficult to put on, honestly. I mean, it globs. There's, like, so much. There's so much at one time when you put it on. And then you have to, like... I don't know like the shine is kind of there I mean is it like I just took a like I have freaking water drops on my lips no it's not um, I just I actually had an issue with their lip plumping glosses it was just, it was the same kind of thing it's very thick when you put it on I mean I kind of feel like if you're going for like a wet 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 look it shouldn't be that thick. It should be 
not thin but not super thick so you can just glide it on and it seems very seamless but it sticks to the lips and doesn't kind of lose its shine if any of that makes sense i feel like i've worn enough lip glosses to be able to say that um but yeah, I mean, the shine's there. Um, it's definitely, it did that lip kind of thing with on top of something creamy. So you're definitely going to have to wear this with something matte or even by itself. I feel like it has enough glitters and tint to it to actually be worn by itself. And I will end up just trying that just to see if maybe I feel differently. But I mean, it does feel really heavy. And the Velour Liquid Lipstick is normally very light, but it, this does feel very heavy, which is weird. Right, so that is all that I had to try in today's video final thoughts love the eyeshadow palette not a big fan of the lip gloss um and the lipstick was very deceiving in color online i mean i normally don't wear very pinky nudes like this and so i hate honestly kind of buying stuff online when it comes to lip products but overall that look came out very 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 nice i love the eyeshadow look like i will definitely be using that eyeshadow palette again and that is all I have for today's video, so please be sure to give the video a thumbs up if you did enjoy what you saw in today's video, and comment down below and let me know if you've tried this palette and any of these lip products from Essence, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!